Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Sanch, welcome back to the Bodybuilding News Network for another installment of Bodybuilding Today, where we talk about hot topics trending in the world of bodybuilding. Specifically, Nick Walker talking about controversially what is his be- uh, worst pose, as well as some Arnold Classic physique updates from three competitors. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Consider subscribing, helping the channel grow here in 2024. But let's go ahead and jump right into the first story here. We have I what I would say is a physique update that broke the internet in this last week. We've got Horace MD, a.k.a. Marcelo D. Angelis. Angelis? I, I'll never get his name right. I never get any names right. But this guy looks so good right now. And I was actually kind of worried. I was going to make a video talking about how we haven't seen any physique updates from him in about a week. And then I started, uh, somehow my algorithm just wasn't recommending it. So I actually went to his channel and looked at, it looked at his Instagram and bam, like three days worth of physique updates. So you have here from left to right, most recent to, to the oldest and just, wow. I mean, this guy looks phenomenal. I saw a couple channels doing comparisons of him next to Samson. We'll look at that in just a second, but I really wonder where this guy's going to land in this lineup. I mean, I think it's a huge win if he's in this top four, but if he continues to improve his structure as much as uh, he has been, I mean, the guy could just continue to rise in the placings. Next up, we have some Samson Dowda news, some physique updates from him. And I saw um, Muscular Discord is another cool channel, really blew up last year. I think they they might even be bigger than my channel at this point. But uh, check them out. Uh, he was talking about the crazy improvements from seven weeks to six weeks with Samson Dowda. And I mean, just, I would say he really blew up in the last week. A lot of the lines started showing up. The The leg definition looks m- so much better. He looks a little bit more vascular. I just, I really think that there's a huge switch, a huge uh, f- switch or a turning point from seven to six with Samson that the physique just looks so much sharper, so much cleaner. Uh, the midsection continues to look a little bit tighter. I'm sure we'll do another video tomorrow talking about it from some shots from the back, comparing that uh, recent hamstring tweak that he had. Uh, you know, is that a real issue or is that just like someone said like, oh, he's just making excuses already. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to believe that. But uh, next up, I don't know if we've ever talked about Vitor Chavez on the channel, but one of the I would say one of the prettiest physiques coming into this Arnold Classic in the men's physique division. This guy has such a nice structure. The transitions, the posing, um, the the, the skin tone looks good as well. I mean, the the taper is just so freaky on this guy. And one of the reasons I really am enjoying talking about men's physique more and more on this channel is you just look at the taper, you look at the midsection and the muscle maturity that these guys have. They have a lot of muscle density as well that you know sometimes you you overlook when it comes to the men's physique division you just think these guys just aren't that big but I mean that's why they had to add the weight caps because these guys are just so complete they're so full and this guy could be one of the guys coming into the Arnold Classic that could be a dark horse pick in my opinion and last but certainly not least ladies thank you for stopping by uh consider subscribing. Check out the Patreon in the description. I have a poll up there for you to uh, to vote on. It's free. The The voting is free. We have Nick Walker talking about, uh, he was essentially saying this is his only shot, personally, he believes uh, that was holding him back in 2023. And I wanted to give you the most recent posing we had from Nick Walker at that NPC High Rollers Classic, which, I mean, what a what a terrible backdrop. I mean, I was getting dizzy watching this footage. When it starts moving, it's just like I was getting nauseous. Look at that. Who approved that? Just so bad. The the promoters are just so out of out of touch with reality of bodybuilding. I mean, I was getting I'm literally getting nauseous looking at it. But anyways, if we look at the if we look at the transitions, we look at the midsection, with if you compare that to that front lat spread. I don't think it's a bad shot for Nick Walker, but I definitely think it was his uh, least complimentary pose, if you will. 
tiptoeing around bad words, of course. Uh, I, I enjoy Nick very much. I think his physique is amazing, and I think he's going to continue to improve in the Olympia and continue to climb up from uh, what was it, third place two years ago to you know who knows where we're going to see him in 2024. Uh, if he does have to qualify, I wonder where we're going to see him. I'm excited to see him back on a normal stage. I don't think he's going to be doing the New York Pro, but that would be a cool... Um, that would be a cool return for him because we haven't seen him on the New York Pro since what you know was that the last open show he did besides the Arnold? I think so. Let me know down below if I, I've got that number wrong, if I got that news wrong, but just so excited for Nick Walker. The the physique updates from him are continuing to be really impressive. And even though he's in the offseason, he's finally starting to look like he's in the offseason. He's getting a little bit softer, but Overall, looking phenomenal. Excited to see what he's going to be doing. That's the news for today. Check out the description of the video for more information about our 2024 campaign to retire my parents in 2024. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.